had no idea I was coming to Kinross House until about 20, 30 minutes before I got here. I'm absolutely sure that my need and craving for a coffee at that moment in time, 25 miles north of, north of Edinburgh, was because the house could tell I was driving by and was going to nab me before its best chance of a restoration disappeared down the A1. Kinross House, after 330 years, is still almost shockingly new, set in formal gardens planted in 1675, a full 10 years before the foundation stone of Kinross House was laid, so that the gardens would be mature by the time the house was completed. The house is at the centre of a unique inland maritime estate, combining a national nature reserve, the largest loch in the lowlands, one of the most important medieval castles and the first neoclassical Palladian mansion ever built in Scotland, all woven together in the first designed landscape in Scottish architectural history, often referred to as the jewel in Scotland's architectural crown. Sir William Bruce, the house's architect and first owner, was many things. He was instrumental in the restoration of the monarchy, father of Scottish classicism, and was known as the Christopher Wren of the North, the Kit of the North. Kinross House is itself a testament and monument to him. Well, it didn't take a genius to work out that uh, the house needed um, a thoroughgoing restoration. As I walked around the first time, indeed, uh, just before I agreed to buy it, it became very apparent to me that this was going to very rapidly become a true labour of love. Love is never rational, and so that was the very same thing with the house here. When I first spoke to the, uh, my professional team, uh, architects, builders, um, consultants of all sorts, they thought it would take about three years. Uh, I just thought, well, three years is a long time. So we actually did it in, in 18 months, uh, but that took a huge amount of planning. The whole roof came off. Uh, we dug underneath the whole house by a meter to put in new services. Trenches were dug from the town to deal with new electrics, new water, all 135, 140 windows taken out, either replaced or refurbished. A massive, massive undertaking. When my father told me that he'd bought this, uh, this magnificent estate, I couldn't quite believe it, to be honest with you. Um, and I remember walking through the front doors for the first time and being uh, totally spellbound. Despite these, um, these grand appearances, I think it's a place where you immediately feel incredibly comfortable and relaxed and at ease. Uh, and that's why uh, I just treasure every single moment that I, I get to spend here. What makes Kinross House unique is just simply the fact that there are so many opportunities for amazing activities available here just on the doorstep. We've got two 18-hole golf courses. We've got St Andrews 40 minutes away up the road. The thing I enjoy most, I think, has to be the biannual cricket match that I've been putting on now for a number of years against the local Kinross Cricket Club. Great fun, we have a, a barbecue afterwards as well to celebrate. We have amazing competition standard fishing on the loch. We have the Castle Island on which stands Loch Leven Castle, where Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned in the 1560s, of huge cultural and historical significance in Scotland. Slightly further afield is St Surf's Island, a 90-acre island on the loch, uh, where lie the remains of a 9th century monastery, which has now turned into a wonderful nesting ground for all sorts of rare and beautiful birds. Quite apart from the fact that my father has been able to restore the house in, in the way he has, I do find it remarkable uh, that he also had the vision to restore the coach house, which was um, the stables, formerly, where guests can enjoy head-to-toe body treatments, and where we also have a walled garden in which we grow our own vegetables and our own orchard from which we make our own cider. My vision for the property is now, 10 years after having bought it and restored it the same as it was then, namely using it to entertain luxuriously and sumptuously. Coming through the gates brings a smile to your face and you immediately get a sense of the history and the magnificence of the estates. To have the close relationship that I do with the house is a real privilege and it's one that I'm hugely excited to develop over the years to come. <laughs> <laughs>